Welcome to Upstreet Online. I'm Matt, and we're talking this month about the most important thing that ever happened in the history of the world. And see, that event, it can give you and me hope, which we could all use a little bit of that every now and then, right? Well, the great news is that that is what we are talking about today. Have you ever been in a, in a stadium like this or, or even just to your brother or your sister's Little League game and, and then you scream at the top of your lungs for your team? That's called cheering, right? And we cheer for the team or for the player that we really want to win. In fact, there are people actually at games called cheerleaders that help keep the crowd hyped for the team. And see, we have so much hope for our teams, don't we? I mean, we don't really know if our team is going to win, but we hope that they will. We watch with hope, we scream with hope, we're excited with hope, and now some people, they go all out cheering for their team. I mean, they paint their face, they get decked out in, in all the team gear, <laughs> they know every single chant with every single motion for their team. You've probably seen some of these people at the games or maybe on your TV or maybe that's even you. Listen, it gets intense. You look at these fans, they're just cheering on their team with hope. But what happens if our team starts losing? Right, nobody wants that to happen, but in every single game, there's a team that wins and there's a team that lost. And how quickly our cheering and our hope and our excitement turns into disappointment and sadness and confusion. How could a team that we were so hopeful for, that we were so certain was going to win, how can they be losing? And then when that team keeps losing and then they keep losing and then, well, they just lose some more, all hope. It's not losing, no, 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 it's lost. Well, that's when people start leaving early. They don't even make it to the end of the game. No, they're getting out of there because nobody wants to be on the losing team. There's no hope there. And you know what? This week leading up into Easter, Jesus' friends, they kind of felt the same way. See, this week started with a parade, with Tons of people lining the streets, going crazy, chanting, Jesus, 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 everywhere that he went. They thought that he was the son of God who could do miracles, the one who would save them. And then out of nowhere, the exact same week, Jesus was arrested. And they were all like, uh, wait a minute, what? How, how did, what just happened? He's arrested. He's, wait, all that hope and all that joy that we had, where it, it just seems like it's gone. It started to disappear. See, they went from cheering to being sad and confused. It's like the people that leave a game early because their team isn't winning. All of Jesus's friends, they just left, they disappeared. People started to make up some lies about Jesus and he was arrested and he was found guilty. And none of Jesus' friends stood up to help him. Talk about being in trouble. Now, I don't know if you've ever had something bad happen to you, but it can be hard. Like maybe right now you've got some friends or some relatives. Maybe they're sick and it doesn't seem like they're getting any better. Maybe you've got some problems at school with a teacher or a classmate or a coach and I mean, how many of us have ever had problems with our friends and we just don't understand why they're being so mean? We all face trouble. And when it happens, sometimes we feel scared. Sometimes we feel sad, we feel alone. Sometimes it's confusing. But go back to Jesus. See, Jesus knew that his friends were going to leave him. Here's actually what he told them. He said, you are going to leave me all alone, but then, Jesus told them something amazing. He looked at him and he said, but I am not alone for my father is with me. And so 
who is it that was still with Jesus? Well, God was. See, God was always with Jesus. And what you need to understand is that God is always with you. It's why we can have hope. No matter how bad it gets, when you're afraid, when you're worried, when you're upset, when you're confused, when you feel all alone, remember that God is with you. You're never alone. See, you can always have hope because God is with you. So let's pray together and let's thank God for always being with us. God, thank you. Thank you so much that we can have hope even when things are bad, even when things are tough, because you, God, you're always with us every single day, no matter what, no matter what we're going through, the good and the bad, you are with us. So help us to remember that when things get tough. We love you so much. Amen. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the Forever